power factor is one of those concepts that is hard to understand. Hopefully this short video will help you understand the phenomenon of power factor and reactive power in an AC generation system. At the end of the explanation is a demonstration of an engine system with a generator on a real and reactive load bank. Power factor on an isolated system is the real power of the generator divided by the apparent power created by the load. Power factor is a dimensionless number normally around 1.0. A power factor of exactly 1.0 is called unity power factor. The power factor of a system is determined by the amount of reactive load in the system. Power factor can be determined by the equation of power factor equals cosine theta, where theta is the phase angle difference between the voltage and the current. Volt amps reactive or VARS is the reactive power unit of measure. What causes reactive power in an isolated system? Reactive power in an AC generator is caused by the load that is on the generator. The load types are resistive, inductive, and capacitive. Resistive loads consist of devices that are purely resistive in nature, with no inductive or capacitive reactants. These are physical devices consisting of the line resistance of the wires, baseboard heaters, and incandescent light bulbs. A purely resistive load will create a unity power factor or a power factor of 1.0. Inductive loads are inductors or coils that usually consist of induction motors, fluorescent light ballasts, and anything with a coil of wire inside of it. Inductive loads will create a lagging power factor. Capacitive loads are not very common as there are not many physical devices that are capacitive except a capacitor. Synchronous motors can act a little capacitive. Capacitive loads will cause a leading power factor. This plot of voltage, current, and calculated real power is an AC generator with a purely resistive load. Notice that the voltage and the current cross zero at exactly the same time. Since the phase difference of the current and the voltage is zero, the cosine of zero equals 1.0 or unity power factor. This plot of voltage and current and calculated real power is an AC generator with a purely inductive load. Due to the inductive reactance nature of a coil, the current is delayed behind the voltage. In this case, the shift is 36 electrical degrees. The cosine of 36 degrees equals a 0 0.8 lagging power factor. This plot of voltage, current, and calculated real power is an AC generator with a purely capacitive load. Due to the capacitive reactance nature of capacitors, the voltage is delayed behind the current. In this case, the shift is 36 electrical degrees. The cosine of 36 degrees equals a 0 0.8 leading power factor. It is not very common to have a leading power factor. Here is a demonstration of an isolated generator connected to a real and reactive power load bank. This screen is showing all of the information concerning speed, frequency, watts, volts, amps, volt amps, and VARs. The engine is started and the engine comes up to 1800 RPM and 60 Hertz on the generator. The load bank breaker is already closed so I will close the generator breaker. I will start by putting resistive load on the generator, 50 kilowatts, then another 50 and the last 50. 150 kilowatts is full load on the generator. Notice that the power factor meter reads a unity power factor of 1.0. I will add some reactive inductive power. Notice that as the reactive load is added the kilowatts don't change but the current on the generator increases and the power factor decreases. The reactive power is removed The real power is removed and the generator breaker is opened. The engine is shut down. I hope by visually seeing the effects of adding reactive power
to a generator system that the terms power factor and vars, K vars, makes a little more sense. This powerful interactive power generation training module is available to purchase. It allows a student to learn and understand many concepts of power generation. The model is operated on your PC and performs exactly like a real engine system. If you want more information about this interactive tool, download Product Specification 03412 from our website at www.woodward.com forward slash publications. If you wish to order the training module, the part number is 8447-1012 and can be purchased from your local Woodward distributor. A list of Woodward distributors can be viewed at www.woodward.com forward slash directory. If you have any more questions, comments about this explanation, please send an email to PowerGenHelpDesk at Woodward.com. Thank you for viewing the video.